Welcome gamers! Today I'm thrilling to introduce a new series on this channel. Which game is better? In this series we're gonna compare some of the best franchise games out there and break it down to see which one is truly the best. While this is mostly my opinion, I'm excited to hear yours in the comments down below. To kick things off, we'll be comparing two incredible games from Assassin's Creed franchise. Origins and Odyssey. Both games released just a year apart. With Origins hitting the shelves in 2017 and Odyssey in 2018. Throughout this series, we'll be examining each game in three parts. The story, the gameplay and the open world. From each category, I'll give a rating from 1 to 10. And at the end, we'll add up to the totals to decide which game is the best. So let's get started with the most important aspect of the video games, the story. First up, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I gotta say, the story had more ups and downs. They were so light-hearted moments, but then things got dark really quickly to balance it out. It was like the game was saying, hey, you're having too much fun, let's add some death and despair to the mix. But let's talk about the choices. I mean, sure, they were a new addition to the Assassin's Creed. But did they really matter? Most of the choices I made had as much impact as a fly landing on a windshield, unless it was the main plot point. There's no emotional connection to the characters whatsoever, except for Phoebe's death, which was a gut punch. But then the game just swept it under the rug like it's never happened. Choose your side future was advertised like it was a big deal, but it really only mattered during the conquest battles. Another problem I had with the story was how predictable the ending was. This had to be one of the most predictable endings to the video game. Either Demos came back to the family and was instantly forgiven, or you kill Demos and move back to your childhood home. And of course, the final fight happens on the mountain, where you were both sentenced to death. How cliche can you get? So, while the concept of the Odyssey story wasn't bad, the execution left a lot to be despised. I'm giving a 5 out of 10 for the story. Let's talk about Assassin's Creed Origins story. This story had me hooked from start to finish. We're talking about Bayek, the ultimate Avenger, who is out to avenge his son's death. The motivation on this guy is wild. Bayek had to face all kind of threats, both internal and external. But he didn't let that stop him. He went on to become a co-founder of the Hidden Ones, which eventually became the Assassins. Now let's talk about historical figures in the story. We got Cleopatra and Julius Caesar, but the real surprise was Bayek's wife Aya. She went on a journey of her own after the death of her son and learned you can't trust people with power and royalty to help those in need. And the ending. It was satisfying, but it left doors open for a sequel. We need to know more about Bayek's part in the creation of Assassins. Overall, the story was top notch, and Bayek is the best protagonist in the series. I'm giving it a 8 out of 10 for the story. In the upcoming discussion, we will analyze the gameplay category, specifically stealth, combat, and parkour mechanics. Assassin's Creed Origins Assassin's Creed Origins gameplay is quite smooth and had a classic feel to it. The stealth is well packed and the hidden blade assassinations feels great. However, I wish there was more variance in the assassination animations. The use of bows and arrows feels pretty great and the predator bow is particularly fun to use for taking out enemies from range. It's a shame that there was no double assassinations in the game. Moving on to combat, the old counter one-shot kill system has been replaced with a more skillet based combat system, which feels quite solid. Personally, I enjoy the old combat system, but this new system is still very fun. The parkour and motion in the Assassin's Creed Origins has been made to be more simple and easier to use, which could be good or bad, depends on how you look at it. While it's easier for players, it loses the elements of challenge that I found to be quite fun in previous Assassin's Creed games. 
Overall, the gameplay experience in Assassin's Creed Origins is fun and smooth. I give it a 7 out of 10. Let's talk about gameplay in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I had mixed feelings about it for a few reasons. On one hand, the game has some new features, like assassin abilities, that have improved the experience. But on the other hand, they have removed some good features from previous games and made things easier for the players, which took away some of the fun. The spear that replaced the hidden blade is not as good for the stealth and the animation for movement are not very impressive. The combat is similar to the previous game, but the removal of the shield makes blocking more difficult. Overall, Odyssey's gameplay had some exciting new features, but it is not as good as Assassin's Creed Origins. Therefore, I give it a 6 out of 10. Open World of Assassin's Creed Odyssey The game is set in ancient Greece, which means you get to explore Athens and Sparta. Trust me, open world is a visual feast for the eyes. The game's world offers waste stretches of the water, majestic peaks and vibrant cityscapes. The world feels alive, which will leave you off-struck. But hold on, there's more! When you're not busy completing the story, you can upgrade your weapons and spear, participate in land battles with Athenians or Spartans, and complete unique side quests. The open world of Odyssey is so packed with activities that you won't know where to start. I gotta say, the world building in Odyssey is the strongest element of the game. It's perfect. 10 out of 10 from me. Open world of Origins. Picture this. Ancient Greece. A world vastly different from any other Assassin's Creed game. It's mostly sand, but don't be fooled. There are some trees, farms, even tropical areas locations around the cities. That adds a great balance to the world. As you step into the game, you'll find yourself exploring crypts and tombs. You might even stumble upon secret entrances into the Great Pyramids. Each city feels vibrant and alive, bustling with people that will make you feel like you're really there, living in the cities of Egypt. Personally, I can't get enough of the crypts and tombs. I mean, who doesn't love a great adrenaline rush? And let's not forget about hilarious moments, like when you accidentally step on a sand dune and go tumbling down. All in all, Assassin's Creed Origins is an experience like no other. Its open world is brustering with life and there's always something new to explore. I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10, because who doesn't love a good adventure? This leaves us with the final score of 25 for Assassin's Creed Origins and 21 for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And don't forget, this is only in my opinion. As much as I enjoyed Odyssey, there is just something about Origins that takes it to the next level. Feel free to make your case down below in the comments. At the end of the day, it's all about what you enjoy and what speaks to you. As always, it's been a pleasure for having you with us. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day. Until next time, take care and stay safe.